Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to get an open NAT type for Modern Warfare 3 on Steam or no matter what platform you guys are on. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is a bit more complex than one may think. And I've actually tried it once in the past. I think I've done it for a couple of games like GTA and um, For Honor. And the reason that you may want to do it is because um, this is going to help you with your matchmaking times. And it's going to help you find games with better ping than you would normally get without the setting enabled. Now, having your open net type, or I should say having your um, network address type open comes with a bunch of risks, but it it depends entirely on um, how good the anti-cheat system is or the security system in place is for the game. But um, uh, most of the time, it's just an extra precaution, so you guys should be fine. Now, to get an open NAT type is um, a bit more complex. And the reason for that is because um, the steps are different for um, everyone. And why exactly is that? Now, it's because... Um, to enable or to change your NAT type to open, you would need to get access to the admin panel for your internet service provider. So it's going to um, differ entirely on what ISP you guys are on. So if you're in Verizon or or Globe or whatever, um, the steps are going to be different every single time, as well as the access. Now, where I live, um, the access to the internet configuration is a bit restricted, so it's hard to get access to, but I'll be teaching guys just how to do it. So I'm going to switch tabs here real quick to, just to show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are. Now, um, the place that you guys would want to go to is basically any website through a quick Google search and uh, look for Modern Warfare 3 ports. So I'm going to use um, this one. So it's directly by Activision. So it's going to show you all different platforms as well as the ports for them. So if you guys are on PC or Steam, okay, let's actually do Steam. Here are the ports that you want to follow for TCP and UDP. And the idea is uh, you would basically want to go to your router or your uh, modem, whatever you want to call it, and look at the back for the sticker for admin access. Now mine, I believe um, the Ad admin panel would be um 192.168.1.1 so i'm going to try that okay so here we are and it's not letting me in as you guys can see and this is primarily because um the um network type or the restrictions are quite um i should say elaborate for my internet service provider but the idea is you would want to go to the admin panel for your isp make sure that you log in or you could honestly get help from um, your service provider. You could just give them a call, ask them, hey, can can you guys add these ports or these um uh, these uh, numbers to um, my IP address or my connection? So this way, you guys would get um, faster matchmaking times and lower ping when you play the game. So like I said, just go to the um, address for the admin panel for your ISP or network configuration. And then you basically want to add these values with their corresponding types. So TCP and UDP is going to be 3074, 27015, followed by your matching IP address. And that's basically it. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So just to recap, ask help from your internet service provider and they'll set you up. So thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully um, it helped you out. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to your channel to see more videos like these. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.